Wait, hold on. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Eric Spiffy, but you can just call me Spiff. Now, today, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to kind of show you where I have been at uh, with my makeup journey. Now, if you've been a long time follower here on my channel, you know that I am a full face queen, full glam. I'm gonna give you like full coverage foundation, concealer. I wanna give you bold eyes, bold lips, full on lashes, but that's just like not me anymore. I feel like I have kind of grown out of the full coverage foundation journey. I have been really on the hunt for natural looking products, a fresh face, a glowy, fresh look. Um, and it's crazy because I thought I would never get to this point in my life with my makeup. I know that sounds very dramatic, but it's true. I always thought that I would be like a full coverage queen. I thought I would never wanna wear like a, a tinted moisturizer or something that's kind of like very minimal coverage. But that is not the case today because I have a load of, a load? That is not the case today. I have a lot of products here that are kind of like a light coverage or the way that you can use them. You can kind of get that fresh glowy face look. I'm just kind of like zoomer makeup. And <laughs> listen, I'm on the cusp of being a zoomer, okay? I was born 96. So I think that I can partake in this kind of trend that's happening right now. So we're gonna do that today. I thought it'd be fun. I also thought it'd be kind of fun to do like a little life update, kind of tell you where I've been, why I haven't been filming because I was filming a little bit during the pandemic in the beginning and then things got very fuzzy. We'll talk about it more in the video, but if you want to see what the finished look is, please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started. All right, first things first, I'm going to pop on some contacts because even though this is going to be more of like a fresh face, like natural glam makeup look, uh, I still love to wear contacts. Like that, that'll never change. I feel like contacts just change the game sometimes. All right, so since it is pretty sunny outside today, I thought it'd be nice to put on a little sunscreen. So I've been loving the Supergroup Play Everyday Lotion with Sunflower Extract. This has a broad spectrum and has an SPF 50. I mainly just try to put sunscreen on my face. I love to tan my body, but the face, you know, that just shows all the age. And even though I'm young, it's nice to be preventative now. So a little sunscreen won't hurt. Next product I'm taking is the e.l.f. All the Feels Facial Oil. I've been really into using oils underneath my foundation or whatever products I'm using. Just adds more hydration, which really helps to lay down all the other products on the face. The next product I'm taking is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This was really trending in the beginning of the year, um, and I actually think into a little bit of the end of last year. It's very cooling on the face. It helps to smooth out the complexion. So I'm just placing this in the areas where I know my pores are, you know, just a little big. I want a smooth canvas whenever I go in with my other products. All right, so um, basically I've disappeared from all of social media. I basically have deleted one of my Instagram accounts. I just kept my makeup account. Um, I no longer go by Spiffed Up. I felt like I just wanted to go by Eric Spiffy on all platforms. So here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, it's all just Eric Spiffy, which I'm happy with. I'm happy that it all is cohesive. Um, I just felt that it was time to just get rid of one account. I was tired of having um, my personal life and kind of like my professional professional life on two separate platforms and having to basically just constantly be on social media, especially right now with everything that's going on in the world. It's just so much news and so much just like hate uh, to consume all day, every day. So I just said, you know what? I want to deactivate my Facebook. I want to just get off of some social media and just kind of keep my makeup accounts, um, which is now just my, my account in general, no, not just makeup. It's now just going to be just my account. Um, and I'm happy that I made that move. I feel like my mental health is in a better place because in the beginning I was just just constantly just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and it was just going nowhere and I felt like I was in a tunnel. So yeah, I'm doing <laughs> A-OK -okay now. I'm gonna go in with the rose water and glycerin spray from Heritage Store. This stuff is bomb. Oh, it's just so refreshing, so refreshing. All right, so I'm gonna be going in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint has a little hyaluronic acid for hydration, super moisturizing, helps to plump the skin. And I'm just applying a little bit in the lower half of my face and on the temples. I really don't need much product on my forehead. Um, so we're just gonna be placing it around this area here. And I found that I tend to crease a lot right here on my forehead. And so adding product just enhances those creases and I don't want that. Um, so I'm going in with my 
hands now just to blend out this product which is also crazy to think about because I hate using my hands but I found that using my fingers it's just there's not a problem with it as long as your hands are clean then you should be good this is just gonna even out the skin tone and get it ready for everything else we want a neutral base and that is what it's gonna do for us I've been using this one now for a couple weeks and I've found that it's probably one of my favorite ones from the drugstore. There is a new one from Revlon that I do want to try out soon, so keep an eye out for that here on my channel. Alright, let's go ahead and conceal a little bit. I'm just going to be spot concealing some of the areas that I feel needed. I have a little discoloration, some scarring going on from some acne, just a little bit where my mustache is because I did just shave today. I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics brush. This is from their Midnight Festival collection. I believe that's what it's called, but this is their number four brush. I've been using this for spot concealing and I found that it works really great because it's tiny. Before, I was using really huge brushes to basically blend out my concealer and it's not necessary at all. I feel like you're way more precise when you can use a tiny brush like this like I don't have a big face why am I using big brushes on a small face like it doesn't make any sense smaller brushes more precision big brushes sloppy work and then I'm basically just taking what's left on the brush I don't have any new product on here and I'm just applying that right here on my chin because I basically just grow facial hair mustache soul patch chin hair a little bit of hair like right here um, and I get very patchy on this side which is very devastating I've always wanted a beard growing up, but um, it's never gonna happen. For now, I'll just date daddies with beards. That's all. Hashtag daddies with beards. So something that I've added new to my makeup routine is cream bronzering. Like, wait, cream bronzing. Cream bronzing. It has changed the game for me. I love cream bronzing. It's like, it's it's so skin-like. It's seamless. It looks really great on the skin. Um, I'm somebody who has normal to dry skin. So if you're somebody who's more on the oily side and you're very concerned about um, using a cream product, I would just say maybe set it a little bit better, set it a little longer, maybe bake. Um, but you should try it because it just looks amazing. It just kind of blends into your skin. Once you set it, it just looks very seamless. It doesn't look like, it doesn't. you can't see like a start to finish you know so I'm just taking this on the temples across the forehead right here just to really add some warmth to the face and this is the Fenty Beauty cream bronzer in honey glaze we are gonna come back to that product in a second because I do use that to contour my nose I'm gonna use a second concealer this is the ColourPop pretty fresh concealer I don't have the shade that I'm using because it came off, it's like a little sticker. But I'm just using that underneath my eyes and I'm gonna use my ring finger to blend that out. I love using my finger now for concealer. I feel like it has changed the game with blending out uh, any type of product. So I've been loving this, uh, whoop, gotta burp. So I've been loving this Maybelline Cheek Heat Cream Blush, liquid blush. So I've been really digging these Maybelline Cheeky Cream Blushes. I have the color Coral Ember and Nude Burn. I think I'm gonna try Nude Burn today. This is gonna be sort of like a first impressions, but I know that I really love the finish of this product. So let's give a little sneak peek as to what this finish is gonna look like. Very, 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 very subtle. But like it's there, you know, like it adds like a little bit of a sheen. So I'm picking that up on the BH Cosmod so I'm picking that up in the BH Cosmetics number two brush now. This is just like a nice, like, uh, dense kabuki almost. And I'm just going to stipple this on here, like so. And mashing that in with the cream bronzer. Very, very subtle. I love this. I love this product. And I love this color, actually. Yeah. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. And so I'm going to take my Sony Cash Expunge now, and I'm going to basically blend that into the face even more and absorb a little bit of the product. So I'm going to take this highlighting brush and I'm going to use that to set underneath my eyes. I don't want a lot of translucent powder. This is also another step. I find that whenever I bake personally, it really dries me out. So I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is her original one and I'm using that to basically set underneath my eyes. And can you believe it that we have not even added any product here onto the forehead and just like it, it looks so much better. I have found that in previous videos that I've uploaded on here that I just have that horrible crease on my forehead. All right, so I'm gonna zoom y'all in a little bit to kind of show y'all. You see how I just still have that sheen? My skin still looks very healthy, very glowy, but I'm pretty much set in the T-zone area, okay? Just wanted to point that out. 
Oh, nope, I'm gonna zoom y'all out, there we go. So remember how I told you that we're gonna go back to that cream bronzer? I'm gonna take Honey Glaze one more time. I'm gonna be taking this small brush here. This is the number 10 from BH Cosmetics. If they have this, uh, this brush set still on their website, I highly recommend it. It's a really amazing brush set. It comes with 10 brushes, it comes in this cute little case here. Like, I've just been using them nonstop. I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. One thing that I've been trying to perfect on off camera has been my nose contour because I have also been looking back at old videos and I'm like, whoa, whoa, that nose contour girl. It's uh, interesting. Because my nose, the way that my nose is, I've always been very insecure about it. I always have had problems with it. Um, but I think I have pretty much found a method that worked for me, a technique that definitely works for me. So I'm taking my middle finger now and I'm just softening out the edges here on the bridge of my nose and then I'm blending it out right here on the tip. So my nose basically ends right here, but I want to kind of give the illusion that it's lifted up and creating like a little dot, like as if it's like an exclamation point. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with that second concealer that we use, which is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I'm adding a little dot here and a very tiny dot right there. So I'm gonna take this tiny detail brush and I'm using my middle finger to blend this out. The detail brush was just helping me spread it out a little bit more, but the middle finger, that's the real brush, sweetie. And then what I'm gonna do is, and I'm gonna go back in with that translucent powder and just blend that out on the sides. All right, so I'm gonna go in now with a little bit of bronzer. Even though we did put a cream bronzer on, I just want to warm up my face a little bit more. So I'm taking the Revolution Pro Mega Bronzer in Zero Two Warm. This is one of my favorite bronzers to use from the drugstore. It is a huge, huge pan. And this is a new bronzer that I just opened because I finished the other one. It was literally breaking in the pan and it was kind of sad. I'm adding very little product because this is very, very warm to the face and I'm focusing it on the very outer perimeters of my face. And then with a little bit of that bronzer, just because it is really red, I'm taking a very, very tiny amount on this blending brush here. And I'm just going to enhance the nose contour that we did. And then I'm doing the swiping motion like right above that dot to give the illusion that the nose kind of picks up a little. It's crazy how it, this, it just kind of throws off people sometimes. And then you turn to the side, like the side profile, if it's showing on camera correctly, like it's crazy. Nose contour, fabulous. All right, so next I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Powder Foundation. And I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes just to bring back some color. So for highlighter, I've been going into my Sun Dipped Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills recently. I have been loving this one in particular just because I'm really tan right now. So I find that Tourmaline, Summer, and Moonstone are like the three shades that I've been going back to like nonstop. But I've also changed the way that I've applied my highlighter, which has been such a game changer with kind of creating this more natural look. So I'm gonna take Tourmaline, which is the one at the bottom right here. I'm taking taking the BH Cosmetics number three brush from that same collection. Guys, I'm telling you, this brush collection, it is amazing. I use every brush in this collection, so if you are looking for an affordable brush set, um, I recommend this one. So, Tourmaline, picking it up on this more fluffy, more of like a face brush, um, not this concentrated smaller brush. So you see the, the size difference between these two. This is gonna give you more of like that precision blocky kind of highlighter look that it doesn't look cute on the face. This is gonna give you more of that kind of natural kind of shimmer and it just looks great. So I'm going to lightly focus that right here and do like a sweeping motion and do the same on this side. And then I'm gonna go back into that number two brush and take that right on top of the highlighter just to make sure that everything is mended together and it looks blended out. And then going back into the sponge and then taking that above right here to really make things look very seamless. All right, I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then we will be right back. 
brows are now done and somebody is cutting grass in my front yard so please excuse that but I think the eyes definitely make it or break it for me because back then I used to go very dramatic very bold I didn't know how to create a very subtle kind of smoky eye or just something very very just soft um, but that has taken some time and I just realized that I didn't have the right products to create or achieve that look so Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna take this e.l.f. putty eye primer. So just like the putty face primer, this is kind of the, essentially the same thing. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the NARS, um, is it Radiant Creamy Concealer that's in the pot. The only thing that I don't like about this product is that it really, really dries out. Like it's basically dried out. So I take a little bit of the All The Feels oil and I just add just a tiny drop in there because it's super concentrated and it'll just kind of thin out the product too much for me. So I'm gonna take that on a a blending brush or a shadow brush what is this a deluxe crease brush this is from real techniques I've had this one forever and I'm just gonna warm that up on the back of my hand and just kind of get that going on there and I'm sort of holding the brush at the very end just to add a light touch to applying this this is also gonna help to clean up underneath the brows as well I'm gonna go in before that starts to crease and I'm just gonna set that using that highlighter brush that we used earlier. So I'm next gonna take this cream eyeshadow from Revlon. This is in the color Espresso. And I'm just going to ever so slightly blend that out with this Wet n Wild crease brush. It's very, very, very subtle. For some added flavor and just a little hint of shimmer, I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in Caramel. And just apply that right on the lid. I'm also going to take that onto the inner part of my lower lash line. Um, I'm going to be taking the LA Girl. This is the... Oh god, this is a very horrible packaging. LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner, and this is just in the color brown. So I'm taking that, actually I'm gonna sharpen it. So I'm taking that on the waterline first, and taking a pencil brush, like so, if you can see that. And I'm using the side part just to smooth out this liner. Oh my god, I do apologize for the person that is cutting grass in my front yard. I'm like, of course. When I'm trying to film, somebody wants to cut the grass in the front yard. And now that that is blended out on the waterline, I'm gonna take this right on the lash line and get as close as I can to it. And I'm gonna do one eye at a time. That way I can have, I'm not in a rush to blend out both eyes in a hurry. So just doing one eye at a time. And I'm just taking this up with this pencil brush and blending out and diffusing the brown liner. You can then take your finger and soften it out like so. This is definitely a part that I love to do so much is just taking it with my finger and softening it out. For a pop of light, I'm gonna go back into the Anastasia Sun Dipped uh, Glow Kit and I'm gonna pick up the color Summer and I'm picking that up on this Wet n Wild pencil brush and I'm just going to place that in an upwards motion, like so. I just keep dropping everything. I don't know what is happening right now. Get the All right, the last thing that we have to do is lips, and I'm gonna be using this Palladia lip liner in the color Rose. I've had this lip liner for years, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but you can find Palladio, I believe, like at CVS. I know I bought this probably from Sally's whenever I used to live downtown. There used to be uh, a Sally's like right down the street from where I was going to school. Um, so we're gonna just use this color today for a nice rosy lip. Now I like to go over my cupid's bow for a more pouty kind of look. And I'm only doing the outer perimeter and just kind of shading it in um, because we are gonna go in now with one of my favorite glosses that I just discovered from the drugstore. Um, I did not know about these whenever they came out, but these are the Maybelline New York Lifter Hyaluronic Acid Lip Glosses. And I have the color Stone. And look at that. So we just used a lip liner and just this gloss here, which I love them. They kind of remind, remind, 
They kind of remind me of the Fenty Beauty lip glosses or like the KKW ones. All right, so I think that we are all done here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is the finished look. And honestly, like I just look so fresh in the face. I look awake. I did not use a lot of product on the face so my face doesn't feel like gunky or just full or just doesn't feel like my pores are just getting filled in with so much product on the face. So bye bye full coverage foundation for now. I think that I have kind of grown out of that phase. Of course, I will do like full coverage, you know, here and there. But as far as like my daily routine or just kind of like, you know, just a night out, I don't think I'm going to do it as often. But, um, you know, I'll always be a full coverage gal at heart. Um, and I think it'd be really fun for the next video to do a side by side to kind of show you the dramatic difference of what I used to do and what I do now. So please let me know in the comments down below if you are interested in that type of video. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.